Hi everybody, it's Paul. We're here today to talk about pickups, and in our industry, the guitar industry, pickups are a big deal. They're the microphone of the guitar. Uh, literally, um, you've got this piece of magnetic material that's vibrating, and you've got a magnetic microphone underneath the strings. Now, you know, when I do clinics, my saying is, no matter what mic you put on Barbra Streisand, she's not going to sound like Paul Rogers. It really is a microphone. If you have a guitar that's very trebly acoustically, the pickup's going to pick that up. If the guitar has no high end, let's say there's, the bridge is made out of rubber, you're going to hear that through the pickup. So there's a marriage between the sound of the guitar and the pickup. But the pickups are a very important part of the guitar. I find it to be a... Um, a black art. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts. It's hard to understand. It's hard to measure. Um, and for me, um, I look at it like there's single coils, there's humbuckers, and then there are <laughs> humbuckers that sound like single coils. And we're going to get into that today. We're going to get into switching pickups and listening to them and explaining a little bit about the frequency response. So. The first thing I want to do is I want to draw on this whiteboard. I want to draw the frequency response of what a single coil is and what the frequency response of a humbucker is. And then I want to listen to both of them so you can hear it. So let's draw a graph. On this axis, it's how loud it is. So this is uh, dB. This is how loud it is. The higher up, the louder it is. This axis is frequency. This is the lowest note that would come out, say the sub in your stereo when you're watching TV. And this would be way, way up top. A humbucking has a frequency response that looks something like this. And a single coil has a frequency response that looks something like this. And it's very easy to see and listening to it, this note right here, this note is really loud and it's a whistle at a certain frequency. And you can hear it in every note you play. This note is lower in frequency and not as loud. And you'll be able to hear that as well. So if you're trying to move this frequency around, there are ways to do it. If you're trying to move it up and down, there are ways to do it. The parameters that a pickup has are is it a single coil or, or a humbucker? A humbucker is two coils out of phase magnetically and out of phase electrically, but because they're both out of phase, the sound of each coil is in phase, but it, it gets rid of the hum. But you can play with the wire diameter. You can play with the coating on the wire. You can play with how many turns the pickup has. You can play with how it's layered. You can play with the magnet type, Alnico 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ceramic, all the different kinds of magnets, where the magnets are in the pickup. You can um, play with the waxing of the pickup. You can mess with the power of the magnet. You can mess with how uh, the thing is tensioned, how it's waxed. There are so many ways to mess with this. And when we call it TCI. Basically, we're playing with the capacitance of the coils and the adductance of the coils to be able to move these notes around so that they sound musical to us. What we're doing is we have a machine that gives us this frequency response. So we can know what the pickup's going to sound like before we ever plug it in. But I'm trying to get a baseline of what the frequency response of these pickups are. It's a difficult thing to understand unless you have a way of measuring. And with this, we have a way of measuring, and it's just been so illuminating for us. And there's been so many times we would wind something and we thought it was going to be one way, and we would say to each other, you're not going to believe this one, and, it, and the answer was something else. But for us, it's becoming a... Uh, a way of tuning the pickups so they sound just the way we want. And um, let's first start with the difference between the sound of a single coil and a regular humbucker. So what we have here is a guitar that we can stick pickups, slide them in and out, so we have an instant feedback on the difference between the sounds, okay? So let's start with 
one of our pickups. This is an 8515 bass pickup, and we're going to put it in the guitar. A little bit about this test guitar. It obviously has a volume control and a tone control, but I can change the pot value from 500k to 250k. I can change whether it's wired like a McCarty or a single cut, and I can actually take all the electronics down here out. So in this setting, I've got it regular wiring of a guitar, 500k, and it, the volume control will be working. So. That's a good sounding, clear humbucker. A little bit single coil sounding, but you know, really nice humbucker. So let's change it to a single coil. Okay, so on this John Mayer pickup, I'm going to put it in the 250K position because these pickups were designed to be loaded with a 250K pot, not with a 500K pot. So no matter what note I play, you can hear that note that I drew on the board. You can hear it. And there's a real obvious difference between the sound of a single coil and a humbucker. Now, this is a 5815LT bass pickup. And these things have more of a single coil sound. Now, there's a reason for it because the, the graphs look more similar when we do the test of it. And you can hear it very clearly. They're not as single coily as the John Mayer pickup, but it's in that direction. And there's something beautiful about the tone of these things. Now I'm going to put in a Paul's bass pickup, which sounds even more single coil. All right, so. So this whole idea of making the pickups narrower, we, we made something called a narrow field. And we were reducing the width of the part of the string that the, that the pickup was sensing. And it was all in a journey to make humbucking sound more and more and more single coil. And um, for me, once again, these are all different. Um, sounding pickups. They don't sound the same. So, in our journey with pickups, We've been enjoying making the humbucking sound more and more and more single coil like and less and less just like a uh, less and less like a normal humbucker. Some of these old humbucking pickups from the 50s sound like single coils. And there's something beautiful about it because it's got a high end that's clear and sweet and it's not ice picky in any way. And you know, in our journey of TCI, we're getting better and better and better and better at making these pickups sound like single coils, even though they're, they're humbuckings. Now, I'm going to put a pickup in the treble position. So let me just grab one of these treble pickups here. So I'm going to put uh, Paul's treble pickup in here. And what's in interesting about that 
when you move the pickup from here to here, the string is vibrating not as far. You could imagine that the string can vibrate much farther here than it is here, so there's less bass response. So as you move it this direction, the pickup here is less and less bass. So I'm going to take this pickup and I'm going to put it in this position so that you can hear same pickup in a different position, which I think is very illuminating. This is pickups, right? This is us making these coils that are resonating at certain notes and have certain kinds of magnets and magnet strengths and winds and all this stuff. And in the, in the end of it, we're trying to give you a way that you can play your music. We're trying to give you a way that you can get a sound out of the instrument that's very musical, that drives your pedal board well, that drives your amp well. You can play it clean, you can play it dirty, you can play it any way you want. Now most, most of those demos I've done today have been in the bass position, dead clean. Um, but that's, as you know, not the way <laughs> guitar players play. But I think it's a good way to illuminate this whole thing about single coils and humbuckers and show you that you can clearly see the differences of what their frequency responses are and your ears pick it up instantly and it makes a huge difference in your experience of the guitar. That is a primer from us about pickups. We're always improving them, we're always moving them around. Uh, there's an incredible amount of energy spent on this subject in this building and we're getting better at it and it's fun to get better at it and it's been really nice that we can measure and see what the frequency response of these things are and, and be able to play with it in a way that when we give you a guitar or you get a guitar from us, it's... Um, as musical as it possibly can be, that is the goal. It's Paul. I'm out of here. Goodbye. See ya. Thank you.